Live. Live. Hot. 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 Chorizo style chili sausage. Okay, I'm excited. So what we have, because we've just made these, and they were like a barbecue kind of flavor. Yep, they were kind of like, half beef, half, well, mostly pork with a hint of uh, minced beef. They were mainly sort of like a, a barbecue-y sort of flavor. Mm -hmm. Put some uh, sort of bits and bobs in there, so that's kind of cool. We have got now some more uh, shoulder, pork uh, shoulder that we, uh, we'd we already minced up. We got people who are excited and hungry. Excited and hungry. Life barbecue. Now that's the way to live life. So. That's the way to live life. What What's in there? Uh, it's uh, just a, a joint of uh, pork shoulder that I, t I got. I okay. took the skin off. I run it through the uh, KitchenAid mincer yeah. and minced it up, ready to go. And now it's just down to adding stuff. Cool, what stuff are we gonna add? I have got in like a chorizo style sausage, it's uh, a lot of it is things like smoked paprika, which I've mm. got a load of. I've got a big bag of it. I just keep filling this back up because it's more handy to use. So put as much of that oh, in. They you like want. your shirt, babe. Hey. Hey. Thank you for the love hearts as well. I love it. <laughs> we love True Blood. It was a really good show. It was. It was. Really and now good. it's gone. <laughs> this is um, uh, chipotle powder so it's just powdered Hi. up smoked chilies mm, okay pretty punchy actually so i'm not gonna put too much oh, yeah i don't want to be like crying when i'm eating it i don't know it could be good <laughs> if you're gonna make chili sausages make them right right yeah make them hot yeah we like it hot this is uh garlic powder okay just putting some of that in there yum now traditionally in uh in a chorizo sausage, you'd put in some sort of like red wine or red wine vinegar or something like that. But I don't got none. Oh, okay. So I'm going to instead use a bit of cider vinegar. Oh, okay. Because it's pork. Why not? Pork and cider. Why not? Good combo. Just put a splash of that in there, wet it up a little bit. I think Martin's back. Martin. 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 He's back. He's he can't back. get another oh, sausage. Just, I'm back. He loves a bit of Aaron sausage. <laughs> Oh, it's like we went and ruined it with the garlic. What? No. What? No. no. Garlic's amazing. Garlic's cool. Garlic is amazing. Garlic and chili go together like best buddies, man. Best friends, BFFs. Best buddies. I oh, well, what would you put instead of garlic? What would you put in? What would your flavoured sausage be? Yeah, give us a clue. Yeah. Let us know. You just put some mustard in there. I just put a bit of mustard in there. I, I like putting stuff in. Oh, first. she hates it. What? Thing. Thrifty Picker doesn't like garlic. Oh, okay. Oregano, mine says. Put oregano in it. Now, if it was going to be doing uh, sort of a, an Italian style thing, then yeah, yeah, we could put some oregano in there. I might even put a little bit more paprika in there because I'm not sure if this is going to go red enough. I'll have a look. See what it does. Oh. Mix your mixing needs. Really, I want to, I really want to get my hands in there, but I know with all this paprika in there, I'm going to turn into you sort of the red hand, hand gang. Hands. Gross. So I'm going to try and do it with this the best I can, and I need more paprika. That's nowhere near red enough for a chorizo. Is that what we're making, chorizo? Chorizo, well, it's kind of chorizo style. Okay, put, put more in. Don't be shy. It. Don't be and shy. And it's smoked paprika as well. So it'll have a little yeah. bit of heat to it. Yeah, yeah. And it'll smell really, really good. I think it'll be good. I can put oregano in. Should I put oregano in just for Martin? Just for Martin. Put it in. I'll put it in. Give it an Italian vibe. Fuck oh. sausage. Get that going. Lush. Don't mince it too much. It smell. it does smell amazing. It does smell really good already. Oregano. Woo! Or as the Americans oregano. would say, oregano. Oregano. See, they say things cool. And I'm going to stick in a bit of salt as well. Cool. Keeps it all together. Keeps it all together. Actually, the amount of chili powder. Oh, powder, isn't it? he missed, um, Martin missed these wondrous things. Oh, there they are. There they are. Yeah. They're Amazing. The you missed it. We'll show you how to do it in a minute with these. Oh, and then um, That's my puppy. That is little Breeze. She is a cocker spaniel, and she's really not interested in cooking, but she's interested in trying oh, it. I was just about to say, <laughs> she's one of my best customers when it comes to sausage. She does love it. 
<laughs> so, um, she is really cute. She is really cute. She's two, and she's such a good little puppy. She looks sad. What are you sad for? It's because we're not playing. And she's tired. She's just been out for a big walk. So she's tired. So, what, what are we going to put in here next? Because well, I've noticed that you've got these horrible looking skins ready. They uh, look yeah. so gross. They are pretty gross, I must admit. But oh, they, they, they are an essential part of sausage making. They Otherwise are. you would just have... Meat, meat in a tube. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be in a tube. Well, you could form it into a sausage. Well, you could. And you could like, roll it. A great way, actually, of doing that is um, you could put them onto skewers. If you didn't want the sausage skins, on skewers. Make them into like little mini kebab things. Oh, that's a good really idea. Cool. We could do that another time. Show them how it's done on this thing. But instead, I'm going to squash it into a sausage. Oh, cool. Making burgers on the grill. Lush. Loving that. Homemade burgers They're doing are it right the now. Best. Are the best. I love homemade burgers. Really lush. Especially when you've done them with like cheese inside. That was yeah, really nice. Yeah. Cheese bombs. Cheese bombs. Make the burgers, make two little thin sort of burgers and stick a bit of cheese in the middle and then sort Bat of like them together. solid them together. And oh, then, uh, like cook a them cheese that way. surprise inside. Cheese burger. So good. You do the same with jalapeno peppers inside. Mm -hmm. You can put whatever you like inside. Don't put Mars bars So, inside. what flavour are your burgers, Thrifty Picker? What, what kind are you making? I like a regular burger as well. No, no. Burgushi. Burgushi? Oh, Bur that was from Kaifish. No peppers. Oh, no peppers. I don't like it too hot either. It's not really for me. But uh, if you're going to make a chilli sausage, it's got to be hot. Yeah, but you don't, you don't want your eyes to be streaming. Yeah, you do. Oh, regular with cheese. See? Got to be classic. Classic burger all the way. Yum, yum, yum. Now, how do you make your burgers? Do you put, um, what other stuff do you put in there? Or do you just use just meat? Do you know, plain, about, do you know about the salt trick? Put more salt in sticks together. A lot of people use things like egg and things like that in there. Don't bother. Just straightforward meat. Stick some salt in. Because the salt does something to the proteins inside the meat that make it hold together when you cook it. Because a lot of people's meat fall apart. They're meat burgers and they just disintegrate into mince. Yeah. Ram it home, big daddy. <laughs> That's Martin, right? Yeah. <laughs> Season it all. I can't get it. Screw it on proper. There, there we go. Lots of pepper. Yeah, I love a, love a load of pepper. I love pepper. I put pepper on everything. Right, let's see the magic happen. So squidge it to the end. Squidge it to the end, because then you won't have any air inside your sausage. Okay. And then we use this gross stuff. Which Aaron bought online. I brought it online. I don't know whether it's... Uh, from legitimate purpose, uh, sort of sources or what? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. They're hog skins, natural casings. I got some of the collagen ones, but the collagen ones aren't too good, as I mentioned no, last they, time. No, they're really, really thick, weren't they? They're just like paper tubes. It's they're really horrible to work with. They they cook up all right. They're not too bad, but they're just um, not the best. How come I was getting this on and no problem earlier? There I don't go. know. You've lost your knack. There you go, slide it all on. God, it's like a 15 year old learning how to do sex for the first time. <laughs> paper tubes of meat. Yeah, it was gross. It, it's, it did sound like paper tubes of meat and it tasted of paper tubes of meat. It wasn't. They weren't great. No. They had like a weird crunch to the skin. They were quite thick, weren't they? Yeah, they kind of worked. They were okay, but I would do natural casings all the way, really, personally. Yeah. Much better. They're a lot easier to work with as well when you're doing stuff in. Like I'll show you some of the collagen ones actually, they're in the cupboard. Should Good I... thing about the collagen ones, that they last forever and you just sort of like hang them out in your cupboard and you don't have to worry about it and you pull them out and use them whenever you want. So they're good to have as a backup if you're ever fancy getting into sausage making at 12 o'clock at night and you can't go out and buy any normal ones. But they won't be as good as normal ones. But they won't be as good. But if you're in a desperate <laughs> need for a sausage... Do I do a couple of sausages? <laughs> What? Martin, no I don't. <laughs> Couple of sausages. Da, 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 da. Nearly there. No! Sell them online? Yeah, we could sell them online. If you want to buy some, let on me know. Etsy. 
Hit me up, I don't man. know if you could do that. I'll send you some. Black market sausages. No, we don't want any dodgy sausage. You could make rabbit sausages. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Rabbit? I've never had rabbit. I'll go out. I'll be out shooting soon, so I'll get some. Oh, I don't know. I used to have a pet rabbit. I'm not really a fan of eating something that I've had a pet of. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, it's happening. It's gonna happen. I'm so excited. Right. I love this bit. So you gotta make a knot in the end like you tie a balloon, yeah? Like you're tying an animal balloon. Oh, look at me learning. Okay. And sure. then... Pull it all the way back. Okay, so you don't, so you don't get, get any air. air. Right. And then you're ready to go. Okay. Just wet my hands a little bit. And our wonderful contraption from... And off we go. Am I doing a couple? No, I'm no good at this bit. I'm good at the eating them. Make sure you pack your sausage properly. Pack it, good. <laughs> you don't want a sausage being too skinny and floppy. Oh, look at it go, look at that. That looks really good. And you just turn the handle and it pops out. It like squidges it in. Again, a good, uh, if you're gonna be making things that are spicy and stuff like that, a good tip would be to uh, fry a bit of the meat off first before you make the sausages, just to taste it, just to make sure that everything's seasoned okay. But because these are just, if I was doing it for other people, I would do that to make sure that they were spot on. Whereas because these are for me, I don't care if they make my <laughs> eyes melt. Martin said, David says it looks a bit suggestive. <laughs> well, you know. That's the art of know, sausage it's, making. <laughs> it's the mind it goes into. <laughs> That looks good, that's a pretty long one. It's not as long as the other ones that you did earlier, but we've kind of out of meat. But yeah, love it. You're just giving it a squidge. Give it a squidge down. Just make sure that they're even all the way along. That's the main thing. La 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 la. Beautifully done. <laughs> you just tie a little end knot. Exactly the same way. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the heart. Awesome. Love it. And then what you want to do is find out how big you want your sausage. So <laughs> if you want little ones, or like little you want ones? Well, we want like medium size. All the ladies. All the ladies. If I was doing a, a ring that was that small, I'd probably try and do maybe four out of them. So I would probably just give them a squeeze there and kind of go. That's where I'm looking at. Okay. So. One way of doing it is if you just pinch, yeah. it will move all the meat across. You see there's a bit of air in there, so you need to prick them as well afterwards. So you've got most of the meat out of that bit of skin there. Yeah. Same again here. Okay. Like that. And then if you grab hold of those two and flip that one that way. Oh, okay. Then when you get to the next one. Do it again. If I had five instead of four, I would have flipped it the other way. Because then it st stops them from going away. Like I'm um, um, winding. Yeah. But what okay. I'll do is I'll just give that one a twist instead. And look at that. Ta da! They look really good. Oh, what sausages? They look proper professional. Hey, what are the you saying? The sausage maker, uh, this thing. Um, this that... fella came from Amazon and I think it was about between 10 15 quid. Um, I had the KitchenAid sausage stuffer and it was useless. It was, it rubbish. was rubbish. It really was painful to use. It took five minutes to make about three sausages. Uh, with that one, as you saw, comes straight out and it's really cool. <laughs> I can do it pretty, I can do it a lot quicker than that usually, but I was trying to show you sort of what I was up to. But yeah, I mean, this comes with three different nozzles. I'm not trying to sell them. I'm not. I'm not in any way whatsoever We're not trying to. But with this sausage is what I got. Stuffers. Came with three different nozzles, different sizes: chipolatas, smaller sausages, and big beefy farmhouse sausages. And uh, and it's awesome. Great bit of kit. And you always get a bit left over as well, which you can take out and fry up and stick in a sandwich. Yay! Snack time. So, if Bye. I was you, get out there and start making sausages yourself. And then you know what's in them because normal sausages, well, you just don't know what's going to be in it. It could be well, it's mystery meat. You just don't know. Make some uh, toad in the hole. <gasps> Are we going to do that now? Maybe could not. Could do. Maybe. Could do. I don't know. If you wanted to do that, I could do that. Maybe later. Won't be too long. If you want me to do one, I'll do one. No, we'll have it tomorrow.
But there you go. But I tell you, right, this, this, is, this is the economics of sausage making, right? This is the, the interesting part. That shoulder of pork that I bought was three quid, right? At three pounds, uh, three pound, minced it up, stuck it in the sausage. Now, the stuff that I put in the sausages was all in my cupboard, so it was, it was standard sort of like bits and bobs. You can do it with just salt and pepper. It doesn't matter. You don't really need to put loads of stuff in, but making them flavoured is cool. The skins themselves cost me like, uh, I think it was £1.25 for like for 14 miles of skin. Yeah, you got loads. So from one £3 joint of pork, I've managed to get, phew, God knows sort of like how much that would cost in the butchers, probably it's easily sort of like six quid, seven quid, somewhere around there. And you've made them, you've had fun, done something with a Sunday afternoon. And they're awesome. amazing. And they're amazing. Treat so yourself good. and your friends. Woo! <laughs> Right, so that is how we made our sausages. Hope um, you enjoyed it. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you everybody for coming by. Thank you for all the love hearts. We got the skins from, um, you got a them place, online. A place online and they're called uh, Tong Master. Tong, as, as in, in. As in barbecue. Tong. Tongs. Tong Master. Tong Master. Um, check them out. They're really good. Go for the normal hog ones and not for the horrible. Don't go for the collagen ones. Collagen ones. Get the, uh, the natural hog casings. Yeah, the collagen ones are like eating tracing paper. They're gross. <laughs> but thank you very much. Thanks for coming back, Martin. Thank you, everybody, for sticking. And thanks for the love. And we will see you again soon for another weird cooking with Aaron and Lou. <laughs> <Catch you later. laughs> Bye.